Girls, what time is it? Adventure time! Yeah! Adventure time! It is now mid-September and we're going to go see the fall colors. And we're going to be going on a mountain route that I designed that takes us on the maximum amount of mountain roads uh, through actually a couple of different canyons. Let's get started! All these red lines that you see are other Tesla adventures that we have made videos about on my YouTube channel here. So if you're interested in seeing those, click on this card up above. In this video, I want to illustrate real world driving in a Tesla through the mountains for nearly 80 miles of continuous curvy roads going up and down mountain passes to show not only how much energy is consumed going up mountains, but also how awesome it is that power is regenerated going back down the other side. This route starts in American Fort Canyon and our first stop to explore on foot is at Cascade Springs. Then we proceed down through Midway and up to Guardsman Pass. After stopping there briefly to see the view, we drive a couple miles down to Silver Lake, which is a easy boardwalk trail. Then we proceed down Big Cottonwood Canyon, across Draper, and over the point of the mountain. If you like this type of video, please click subscribe and change the bell notification to all to get notified every time I upload a new video just like this one. It is currently 72 degrees outside and we have the battery up to 90%. During the drive from home to Cascade Springs, our 2015 Tesla Model S 85D achieved a whopping 47.5% efficiency or 645 watt hours per mile, which is about half our usual efficiency. Uh, that's the equivalent to 52.2 miles per gallon. This was well over 21 miles of driving, which took 40 minutes. This section of drive costs $1.49 worth of electricity. The obvious reason for this inefficiency is the elevation went up 3,433 feet, but we then came down 1,793 feet to Cascade Springs. The road got quite steep at one point and the regen braking was restricted by Tesla software, which happens from full regen for an excessively long time. I had to use the friction brakes for a couple of seconds to slow down, and this was the only point on the entire trip that I had to use the friction brakes while going down the mountain. We are on the Cascade Springs Road and we'll be coming around this corner here in a second, but out this way there's a beautiful view out across the to Provo Canyon. Uh, you can see some reds right now, that's mostly what we're seeing. Not a whole lot of yellows just yet in this part. And then in the distance, if you can see it right there, is the road that goes out to Midway. So we're going to be going out on that road if we can. It's uh, been under construction, but I think it's open now. Mm. Pinkish purple leaves. Pinkish purple leaves? Do you love it? Yeah, it's pretty, huh? Yeah? Yeah, the branches look like they're There was a little bit of construction still happening and making the road one lane, but luckily that didn't slow us down very much. We just got to the parking lot of Cascade Springs and we're gonna go check out the boardwalk. You excited, Lucy? Woo, woo, orange and green, orange and green! What's your favorite color of leaf you're seeing? Pink! Whoa! Ton! Mm-hmm. Look at a ton! A ton! <laughs> Are you having fun, Lydia? Woo! It's talking about a Stellar's J. Wow! It's a bird in the crow family. I see. Is that cool? Yeah, there's a down there. Mm hmm. Ooh. Guys, this wall. Yeah. Yeah. I wish I could grab that red leaf. Yeah. It's so pretty with the yellow on it. Red, do you think you can get it without falling? Of course I could. Oh, three pretty maids all in a row. Is this a fun adventure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what do you think of this area, girls? It's really pretty, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, so far this particular spot of the boardwalk is my favorite. You can see the waterfalls in the area behind us and it's got some nice shade. What do you think? Is it cold? Oh. Yeah. It's right out of the ground. Hey Lucy, show me your bouquet again. Wow, pretty. Lydia, what do you see? A brown a, trout. A brown trout? Oh. Yeah, I see it. All right, we're gonna continue on our way, exploring down the canyon, going that direction. Lucy, you got a lot of leaves. Wow, look at that. All right, let's go get in the car. The drive from Cascade Springs to Guardsman Pass took 53 minutes to drive 17 miles, and we achieved even worse efficiency than the prior section at 37%, or 40.7 miles per gallon equivalent. This was also $1.52 worth of electricity. The elevation went down 800 feet to the Midway Valley, then up 4,256 feet to Guardsman Pass. Along this section of road, we got to see the beautiful city of Midway, which is a quaint mountain town with a couple of golf courses. We then ascended up the steep road towards Park City. The colors were a sight to see, but we were missing this year's colors a little bit. Uh, yellows especially were not showing, so our timing was a little bit off. This segment of road was some of the windiest sections of this whole route and is a fun drive. Last year we drove this exact same segment of road and as you can see in these pictures from last year it was a bit more vibrant. One element to note on this trip is that the Tesla navigation does not allow point to point navigation so we had to continuously route ourselves to the next waypoint to get the car to route us on the particular route that we wanted to take. We are back on the road and you can see on the map here that we are going here from Cascade Springs over here to the Brighton ski area. And this is what our energy consumption has been over the last 30 miles. So obviously very high energy consumption and then very low energy consumption as we go up and down these mountain passes. Girls, what did you think of Cascade Springs? It was pretty. What about you, Clara? Pretty, you're right, it was. It's a cool new road. This is brand new, the first day that this road has been open. And so I've never been on it when it's not gravel. And it's been a few years since I even went on it as a gravel road. And they've definitely made a lot of vast improvements. And here is the Heber Valley just below us. Here's a golf course called Soldier Hollow. And then this is Heber Valley and uh, Midway is the city that's more immediately close to us. The uh, battery is at 72% right now. Uh, but we've been going down a lot so it definitely hasn't decreased in battery since the top. We're now up in the layer of the aspen trees. Up in here, it looks like the aspens haven't quite tur turned yet. Uh, some of the leaves are still green, uh, but some of the other trees look kind of bare, so I'm not sure, maybe we're too late to see all the aspens turning, but usually there's a lot of vibrant yellows up here. And yeah, looking out across that way, definitely we're too late. They're all just bare and brown at this point. This right here is the intersection. If we take a road that goes up this direction, it goes to Park City and up into the ski resorts up there. But we're going to be continuing straight on that segment and that will take us over uh, Guardsman Pass and over to the Big Cottonwood Canyon in Salt Lake Valley. We're now at Guardsman Pass, which is right here near the Brighton and Solitude uh, ski resorts. We're going to go exploring around here. There's some trails and I'll show you the view. So if we step out of the car here, this is the road we just drove up on. And coming over this way, is the big view. Look at that. Now, like I said, we missed all the yellows, unfortunately. So looking down there, you don't see all the contrasting yellow against the green this year, unfortunately. All right, we are back in the car and we're gonna head down uh, from Garzman Pass. And I'm gonna show you here that our battery is down to 52%. And so keep our, your eye on that and uh, on the time lapse, and you'll see how it goes up from here. We drove three and a half miles to the Brighton Ski Resort, down 990 feet in elevation. We're now at a cool area called Silver Lake. Here's a plaque welcoming us to Silver Lake, and this is the actual Silver Lake flat area. But we'll get over to the lake maybe, we'll see if the kids can make it. <laughs> what do you think, Clara? Fun. Dad, <laughs> what? Daddy, 
<laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> there, I lost her shoes. You are so fast. Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool. You guys are blowing through this hike. <laughs> There's the trail we've been coming on and there is Silver Lake. We're up above it right now. Very pretty. Oh, good. Yeah, I'll rest with you. I feel my heart. Oh, your heart's beating really fast. No, my heart. <laughs> beating. <laughs> Mom, Dad, look how close we are. That's been my heart. Oh yeah, your heart is beating really fast too, Lydia. Yeah, you feel my heart. Okay. Oh, your heart is beating so fast, Clara. Oh yeah. Girls, what did you find? That is more than a rock. That is a mountainside. Oh, you're having rock climbing lessons right now? Would that be fun? Uh, Clara's giving herself rock climbing lessons right now. Okay. <laughs> Lydia, can you wave? Hi. And here's some beautiful views from the opposite side of the lake. I'm getting too old for this. Wow, it's beautiful. Hey girls taking off your sweaters. All this running is really hot, huh? Yeah. Sure. Ready, set, go. The girls are running on this trail far more than I expected that they would. But they're having lots of fun, and that's what matters, right? Stretching their legs after the drive through the mountains, which was beautiful, but still not very much physical exertion. So this is fun that they're doing this now. After exploring Silver Lake, we then drove 16 miles down Big Cottonwood Canyon, dropping 4,223 feet in elevation putting 4% back into the battery, or a negative 150 watt hours per mile. We got some dinner, then continued 1,558 feet in elevation gain over the point of the mountain, then back down the other side, 1,431 feet. That brought us home after 44 minutes of driving 25 miles and achieving 104.5% efficiency, or 293 watt hours per mile, which consumed 10% of our battery. Upon arriving home, our car charged from 47% to 80%, which took 2 hours and 50 minutes. For this trip, we drove a total of 87 miles at 77.3% efficiency. Driving was 2 hours and 57 minutes and used 34.43 kilowatt hours, or 397 watt hours per mile, which cost a total of $3.75 of electricity, except that we have solar panels on our roof, so it actually didn't cost us anything. And also virtually zero wear on our brakes, even with going down in elevation a total of 9,237 feet through the entire drive because of the regen braking. All right, that's where we are right now. We're just coming out of the entrance of the canyon. This is what our energy has looked like over the last 30 miles. 
and we are at 58% on the battery. And so if you remember up at Guardsman Pass, we were at 52%. So we gained 6% of the battery just coming down out of the canyon. And I never had to touch my brakes even once. We're just now heading up the uh, Draper side of the, the point of the mountain. And we're down to 53% battery. It'll be down to 52 shortly, I'm sure. And so we, uh, we were able to drive all the way from Guardsman Pass to this area in Draper right there, all with the, the free energy that we recouped going down the mountain. We're now heading down on the alpine side of the point of the mountain, and there's some colors up here. Uh, I noticed that the colors are definitely better down low, uh, still because up at the top of the mountain they were past their prime. Uh, here's a good view, you can see out over Utah County. There's a beautiful view of the mountains, and that canyon straight ahead is the one that we went into uh, as we began this journey. And there's still some fall colors down here, but this area we're in does not have a lot of trees. We're back home. Was that a lot of fun, girls? Yeah. yeah. Tell me how excited you are to be home. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Daddy, what? I was counting on my notebook and I made it to 90. You wrote to 90? Yeah. Great job, Lucy. All right, well, I'm getting home. We are at 40. We are at we're at 47 percent on the battery and so if you remember back at guardsman pass which was about 40 miles ago uh, the car was at 52 percent battery so we consumed five percent of the battery to go about 40 miles they needless to say that's really good uh, and that's because there was a lot of downhill we did still go over the point of the mountain again but then we came downhill from that again as well uh, so we left home at 90 percent and we got home at 47 percent to go this whole route, which uh, if I remember right, was right around 80 miles or so. So I hope that was useful to see uh, what it's like with power consumption and how well a uh, Tesla performs in uh, mountain driving. And this was a lot of mountain driving as you saw. Uh, and also we had lots of fun seeing the fall colors along the way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you in the next video.